Today, gas prices are down for the 57th consecutive day. AAA is reporting the national average is just above four bucks Every a day gallon in come this way. places like Washington, D.C. Where yeah, the day in the hood. It started here from uh, people who are this, I don't know. by the drop in prices. Not a day in the hood. Victor, we are watching the gas prices fall in real time here at the Sitco station in Northeast D.C. What's Not a day in the hood. People are going to wipe like they for crazy. A gallon of regular, the most common price for a gallon of gasoline you will see in the U.S. right now, according to Gas Buddy, three sixty nine, which is dragging uh, down the national average now four dollars and one cent, according to AAA, down two cents overnight, down sixty seven cents in the last month. Think about where we were back on June fourteenth. You're in the all time uh, high for a gallon of regular, five dollars and two cents. So we've seen the price of gas on average drop a dollar since then. 57 straight days of decline. And Patrick Mahana, Gas Buddy, says the trend could continue. But a little bit of caution here. Mother Nature could throw a wrench into this. We're not in the winter yet. Uh, the peak of hurricane season starts in mid to late August. And I think my anxiety is going to be pretty elevated because if we see any major storm, uh, I would say Category 3 or stronger, targeting an area between New Orleans and Houston. Buckle up. Gas prices right now are the silver lining when it comes to inflation, causing the rate of inflation to go down a little bit in the month of July compared to previous months. It's also good news for consumers of pretty much everything. Businesses not passing along gas prices near as much for things like milk and eggs. Victor. Thank you, Pete Martini. Also in July, no increase in inflation from June 2022 to July 2022. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is reporting that the price to increased 8.5% year hand. over year to high, but slower than a 9.1% increase in June. Joining me now, Mark Vance, who's the chief economist at Moody's Analytics. Uh, Mark, welcome back. Uh, have what's happened to Pete? I think so, Victor. Uh, you know, uh, you said that was great trepidation. You know, a lot depends on those oil prices. Heard that previous report about that uh, hurricane possibly blowing through. So things can go off the rails. But you know, the most likely outlook to the scenario is that uh, oil prices stay roughly where they are. Gas prices hang around four bucks a gallon, and we've seen the worst of the of the high inflation. Still painfully high. You know, still very difficult for most Americans, but but moving in the right direction. Yeah, beyond the, the singular question so many people have asked about the peak of inflation, when you look at the, 